G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching The Legend of Korra Season 3, Episodes 4, 5 and 6. I thought the last three episodes were really, really good. I thought that was a great start to Season 3. I think the whole concept of having a bunch of random people that possibly have some sort of like heritage to previous airbenders being basically given by the spirit world airbending abilities. I thought that that was a really cool concept. You guys were explaining to me in the comments that Katara breaking the iceberg in the last airbender sort of like a good example of how you can accidentally bend and it makes the whole thing make more sense to me continuity wise. Absolutely love the new villains. I'm so excited to see what sort of damage they're going to do and how difficult they're going to be for Korra to challenge essentially. Anyway, so I'm really excited to watch it this week. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Chapter 4 in Harm's Way. That sounds promising. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, that could be Azula, man. That face. That was just pure evil. <laughs> the only thing I saw was a snowstorm heading our way. The only thing? Come on, man. That's not a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's him. That is not good. <laughs> the window wipers. That was a nice touch. I put you away once, I hear, and I'm going to do it again. Are you sure, mate? You couldn't even take down your own brother. Oof. Those twins are really good. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> Far out, man. That easy. <laughs> Where's flipping uh, Zuko, man? Yep. Is that like a tattoo they give themselves? Ooh, there he is. Right. I've waited 13 years to feel this warm. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> sparky, sparky, boom, woman. <laughs> It's the faces they pull, isn't it? They look like they're gonna kill you when they do it. I thought I'd never see you again. I never doubted. Aw, that's kind of cute though. Really? Right now? After how many years? Yeah, probably. These passports should get you into the upper ring. Awesome! Two! You're the best cousin a guy could have! My other cousins as well. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you're all the best. <laughs> it's such a shame you two must leave. If it's true the Earth Queen is forcing airbenders into her army, yeah. I love you. I love you too, Grandma. Aww. And Chow. And two. There he is, Big T. And That'd be T. so hard to leave after finding a family and... that big. I know that Earth Queen is lying to me. I can't believe I helped her. I've known she was using me. Yeah, but you wouldn't have found out, so. No. You letting off steam is starting to hurt. Mako. <laughs> Bolin. You're okay. <laughs> You're okay? We didn't even bother looking. <laughs> we chased Kai. Slipped away. Met our family. Earth Queen. Can you interpret that? <laughs> the Earth Queen's been secretly taking airbenders and forcing them into her army. Was lying. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, yeah. I swear the next. Gun, tell her the news. There have been reports of airbenders there. It's the very thing you've been looking for. Yep, she's trying to Thank get rid of them. Achoo! Achoo! There an animal in my presence! Just, I would never allow an animal Ooh. near you! Ooh. 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 <laughs> you need any assistance pecking, let gun know. Our airship is having engine trouble. It'll take me until tomorrow to finish nice. the repairs. Can't believe the Earth Queen is conscripting airbenders. Well, technically, the Earth Queen has a right to conscript her citizens. Uh... What? It's true. Guys, what if well, Kai Yeah, but should she? Bending. That's the point. <laughs> might have been Don't worry, Janora. We'll find him. I bet they're under Lake Laogai. Oh. What? I've been reading some of Janora's books. Yeah. The old Dai Li. I know how to check it out without being caught. I can project my spirit into it. Ooh. You mean that out of box? You can still do that? <laughs> <laughs> Her dad's like, what? <laughs> if I can get close enough, I think I can do it. Let's go get Kai out. Oh, Let's that's get awesome she can out. do that. You are the property of the Earth Kingdom. <laughs> you will become the Earth Damn. Force. And it is your duty to serve the Earth Queen. That would be pretty crazy if the Dai Li had both, like, earthbenders uh, and good. specialty, like, airbenders. Two squads. Never show mercy. Now attack your opponent. A soldier never apologizes to his enemy. Oh, man. 
At least Kai has like a conscience. <laughs> He's like, this isn't right. Anything goes wrong, come back immediately. It's funny that Janora looks so similar to Aang, like her face features. I feel like she just shares a lot of similarities with him. Her hair is just looks really different. What happened? The airbenders aren't there. Can you think of any other places the airbenders might be? Could be in the catacombs beneath the upper ring, the ancient sewers beneath the lower ring, or the maze of tunnels that connects the rings together. <laughs> There's so many places. Uh, there are just too many places. Yeah. There has to be another way to locate them. How did you find me during harmonic convergence? I just kind of focused on your energy. Can she focus on Kai's Maybe energy? Maybe you can find Kai the same way. Yeah. I know you two have a connection. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean a connection? Well, at the very least, they're friends. Come on. More than enough, I think. If you have time to help your friend, maybe you're not getting enough rocks for yourself. <laughs> yes, ask for more, man. Use this training to your advantage. Why not? Get, try to get so good you can break out yourself. I guess you're not as good as you thought. Throw him in the hole. Right, so that's how you reward people that are actually doing really well. Gotcha. <laughs> Decide what you want, mate. Do you want really good airbenders or weak people? <laughs> get punished either way. <laughs> Genora, how are you here right now? Shh, it's good to see you. We're going to get you all out of here. Don't worry. Genora, thanks. Hmm. Even her spirit blushes. Oh, okay. That's a hack. Damn, right underneath it. I can't miss Queenie Smugface had them right under our noses the whole time. <laughs> I love the chorus is constantly like, I hate this. Go in under the cover of darkness. Small insertion teams and a third on the outside. 12 tons of blasting jelly. Does anyone have a badger mole that knows Morse code? <sighs> Boomy. Chill. <laughs> not the queen again. Everyone, act normal. Hey, I'm not sweaty this time. <laughs> Can't it just go upstairs? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just gained a few pounds. Oh, <gasps> Lin? Lin! What are you doing here? I just got word from Lord Zuko and Tanrock. Zaheer and the others have escaped. Will you quit ignoring me and tell me what's going on? <laughs> Why is my life in danger? Eesh. Shortly after we found out you were the Avatar, Zaheer and three others attempted to kidnap you. Damn. We apprehended the criminals and locked them away in prisons designed to impair their abilities. We spent 13 years interrogating them. To this day, no one knows what their motive was. Back to Republic City. Mm, that's gonna be fun to figure out. I'm not running. Cora, you don't understand. I'm not a little kid anymore. Cora! You don't need to protect me. Let's get them and get out of here. Yeah. Where are they? We're busting them out. Okay. I was like, at first the arrogance was a little bit, uh, but then she was like, let's just get, get them and get out. And I was like, okay, that's that's a fair enough thing to do. <laughs> what are you doing here? It's just that little airbender girl came with the avatar. Shouldn't be walking around here all alone. I'm not alone. Ah! <laughs> They've got boomed you too. You three find Kai. We'll meet on the surface shortly. What's going on? I'm the Avatar, and I'm getting you all out of here. Going to get you away from the Earth Queen and out of the city. Okay. Yeah, but Kai's in that cell, right? There's an airbender that's not here. We need to get him. Topside, this is Papa Bear. The Breezies <laughs> are in the hole. Bring the airships. No one likes code names anymore. Oh, I like those Stop code names. On. Hey, buddy. Come on. Kai! Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Kai's face! Tens, it's not gonna be happy about this! Then don't tell him. This is too juicy! <laughs> it Thanks is! Thanks for coming again. I'm really sorry about stealing your wallets and getting you stuck on that train. We can't stay mad at you. Yes, we can. <laughs> don't make it I easy on him. Deserting Her Majesty's army is high treason. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Come on, it's clear. <laughs> yep, it's the Dai Li, man. It's never clear. Avatar State. So you've discovered my elite army. These airbenders shouldn't be used as weapons. Mm. Taking them will constitute an act of war. I will bear down on you with the entire force of my kingdom. Yikes. They're leaving with me. No, they're not. Yeah, come on. Come on. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool that they can do a constant, like, yeah, it's great. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, get him, Kai. I guess I am as good as I thought. <laughs> Mate, I'm so glad Lynn turned up. Hey, made all of this possible. Nice. Take down those airships. Where are the others? <laughs> Tenzin didn't even flinch then. Oh. Everybody, hang on. Hell yeah. That was great. Whoa, that was awesome. Uh, Bring me those airships now. <laughs> Bro, someone's got to deal with her though. Like that's still a massive problem that she's ruling. She doesn't seem like the best I know that kind you of ruler. chose. Now you do have a choice. We can relocate you somewhere safe, or you can come with me to the Northern Air Temple and train as air nomads. The path you decide is up to you. Yes. Come on. I want to go with you. Me too. Yes. Count me in. I'll go too. Me too. Oh, too. oh, Tenzin. There, there. Oh, it's great, man. I'll send more airbenders your way when I find them. Stay safe. I'll try. Wherever I go, I make a new enemy. That's what happens. But that's half the incentive, isn't it, though? Joining someone like, like, some place like the Air Nomads is having other people to go with, a community. If you were just starting that culture, you know, like, you were, you were just by yourself with, like, a couple people, I feel like it'd be so much harder to abandon everything for that. Where, you know, at least in that environment, it was like, oh, there's, like, nine other people who want to go, who I've already been acquainted with. Uh, yeah, I'll just go with them. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was, that was a really cool episode. Just like busting everybody out. That was great. All right, on to episode five. Chapter five, the Metal Clan. Okay. Whoa. Four of the most dangerous criminals in the world are hunting you down. I think she wants you to throw it for her. You're allowed to have fun, Lynn. I'll uh, pass, thanks. <laughs> A city called Zaofu, the home of the Metal Clan. Uh, never been. But I don't want you going there. Ooh. I'd rest a lot easier. An airbender in Zalfu? Then that's where we're going next. Yikes. <gasps> <gasps> what? That was so mean. <laughs> right, because she's a metal bender, right? And this is the metal clan. So mm, I wonder what happened here in her personal hmm. life, perhaps. Care to share some insight, Lynn? Don't tell anyone I'm here. My name is Iway. Is this everyone? Yep, just us. The whole music and the vibe in this scene and this whole city seems like it's trying to replicate like Rivendell or something, <laughs> like the elves. That is cool though, building a city out of metal like that, because it's hard to take down then, right? Like He's a new airbender too, like you guys. <laughs> How exciting. New friends. My name is Yoru. I heard this was the place to come if you're a new airbender. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> well, a couple of weeks ago, I woke up and suddenly I could do this. We got another one! Yikes, man. And he comes across as a really passive kind of person. That statue honors the first metal bender who expanded the possibilities of what benders were capable of. Everyone is encouraged to reach his, her highest potential. Are we gonna get to meet her? Years ago, she left to wander the world. No one has seen her since. Hmm, okay. So she's still alive then. Interesting. It's crazy that one person, a child, tough, tough, could do all of this, you know, make all of this wow. possible. Is this where the airbender lives? But first, her mother. Okay, so they all do the same style. They are rehearsing for a dance premiere next month. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cool. That's it for today, everyone. Allow me to introduce the matriarch of the Metal Clan. Please call me Sue. So, you're a dancer. Dancer, leader, wife, mother, collector of rare meteorites. <laughs> Entrepreneur. <laughs> You'll find me. Cora, why did you lie when Iway asked if there was anyone else with you? I, I didn't. I mean... I am a truth seer. I can sense the most subtle of changes. Unless you're Azua. <laughs> there are no... We came with Republic City's chief of police. She didn't want anyone to know she was here. Lynn's here. I would love to say hello. I'm Lynn's sister. Right, yeah, I could have guessed. Oh boy. Damn I can man, already boy, feel the relationship going. <laughs> Same mom, different dads. And after 30 years, the least you could do is say hello. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, oh. What's the, uh, what's the family drama? You. I've tried. Oh, don't put that on me. You're the one who tore our family apart. And you've done a bang up. We can stand here arguing about the past all day, but that's not the reason the Avatar came here. Your niece is the new airbender. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, terrific. 
<laughs> oh my Those goodness, my man. They're playing a game called Power Disc. They invented it all on their own. Well, yeah, a bunch of things become possible when metal bending's only so recent, hey? This is like modern art sculptures. Huon, I want you to meet the Avatar and her friends, your Aunt Lin. Nice to meet you. Hey. It's like the most cliche wow, character to be an really artist. Nice banana? Yes, very, very lifelike. It's not a banana. Inspired by harmonic convergence, the dawning of a new age. Oh yeah, no, I could, I could totally see that. Banana. I mean, that's a banana, right? <laughs> yes, it's a banana. And this is my daughter, Opal. Wow, Opal. Avatar Cora, you are so amazing. That's a beautiful name. Thanks. I'm Damn. Good. Opal, but uh, you already knew that. <laughs> Let's take her back to the airship and get out of here. I've always wanted to meet you. My mom has told me so many stories about you. I'm sure she has. So I've set all of you up in the Lynn. guest houses. Well, but I was hoping she could train with the rest of the airbenders at the Northern Temple. Nonsense. This is where Opal's home and family are. We're leaving. This is the safest city in the world. Why do you have such a problem with your sister? We can stay a little while. <sighs> I'm sure Lynn has her reasons, right? But... Oh, mm. I'm not. You want to keep your elbows in, torso straight? Why don't you try it with me? Yeah, that'd be me too. I just have to watch someone do it and then just try to mimic what they're doing. I feel like trying to explain it to me just wouldn't work. Wow, you're a natural. Thanks. She seems so sweet. I hope she doesn't become like a bad guy. <laughs> I feel like it's a cliche. Yeah, 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 yeah. You call yourself an airbender? Disgraceful. Whoa. Dude. Ah. Easy. That was such an aggressive sort of way of doing it, though. A student is only as good as his master. I just got a message from Tenzin, the whole group of other airbenders at the Northern Temple, and he wants all of you to join them. Oh. And the Avatar is with them? No, apparently she had to split off from Tenzin. It's unfortunate. This guy's smart, though, for doing it this way. He's lucky there's no one that recognizes him stayed there, you know? Sorry, dear. I'm going to have to take dinner in my office. Had a major breakthrough on the tram station remodel. Don't let me stand in the way of inspiration. <laughs> it's like Meet the Robinsons. Five kids. What a nightmare. Children are a blessing. Lynn. I have to admit, I was pretty skeptical when he said pea tendril. Delicious. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a bad meal in my life. I had plenty when Mako and I were living on the streets. I'm sorry, I didn't know. That's all in the past. Things are great now. I got to be a pro bender, fought against a dangerous revolution, a mover star, and now I'm helping. <laughs> yeah, just randomly animation. became a movie star out of nowhere. Your life sounds so exciting. They, they seem like they have good chemistry, Honestly, though. They're kind of like very great. similar. We had to rescue a whole group of them from the Earth Queen. Well, she thinks she can just do whatever she wants. Sounds familiar. I mean, the idea of even having a world is evolving in the Earth Queen can evolve with it. Step aside. Yes, My democracy. Sisters, you want to talk about what's really bugging you because I'm right here. Yes, please tell us. It's starting to get annoying. I need context so I can Sorry, empathize. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> Varric! What are you doing here? What are any of us doing here? Wow. <laughs> Su Yin here pitched her a few ideas. Bam! We're in business together. Varric's heading up my new technology division. People and like that are so is... dangerous. Magnets on a high-speed rail that'll revolutionize transportation and shipping. I'm trying to keep the Avatar safe, and you're harboring a criminal? People change. You haven't. Damn, Lynn. Lynn. She's got to explain what it is. I so can't empathize. You and Opal seem to hit it off at dinner. Yeah, you know, she's sweet and, and pretty and super nice. Too bad she's not my type. I forgot. Uh -huh. Your type. But maybe you're right, bro. Maybe Don't. Opal is bowling material. Don't break nice. her heart, man, please. Yeah. She seems so sweet. You know, before I built this city, there was nothing here. Sorry for how Lynn's been acting. What happened with you two? We didn't have a normal childhood. And Toph was always busy being chief of police. She gave us all the freedom in the world. That sounds right. like a good thing. And in a way, it was. But we both ended up fighting for it's mom's balance. attention. Lynn followed in her footsteps. I was more of a rebel. I wasn't too oh. happy with how either. When I was 16, I left home to explore the world. I sailed the seas on a pirate ship, lived in a sandbender commune in the desert. That's cool. It took me to finally realize what I was looking for was a family. Found a brilliant architect who later became my husband. Good it on you. Like created... I've always wanted Lynn to be a part of it. Yeah, that's tough, man. It's interesting seeing how many parents have like failed their children hey. in this show. Wow, you're really blowing me away with your... She was into you before you changed. Stop. Why are you acting weird? Why are you acting weird? Yeah, get him. 
I just get really self-conscious when I know a girl likes me and I end up acting stupid. Who said I liked you? Oh no. <laughs> but I thought Just kidding. Do me a favor and stop trying. Well, don't stop trying. Just ah, stop Yeah, trying yeah. So much. Be yourself. Be myself. Yeah, I guess I could give that a shot. Bowling, are you serious, bro? Have you never tried that? <clears throat> oh, hey, Cora. I need your help with something. I guess that has always been the case, hasn't it, with girls he's dated? Except for Cora at the start, but then they just want to be friends. <laughs> so there goes that. Mm. Let go your earthly tether. Enter the void, empty, and become wind. Oh. No one's allowed in Daddy's study. Is that the whole thing Daddy. about being able to levitate? I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep. What were you reading? Home by Gulahima. You should be in bed. Come on. Good night. You seem to know a lot about airbend for someone who just got airbending. Yeah. I've always admired. And you move through those gates like a natural. Mm. Zahir. No, don't. Oh, I hate when that happens. When they tell the enemy they know who they are. Ugh. Now you're in real danger. I need some help. Unless, of course, he just leaves. <laughs> Come on. Yes, come on. Come on, get him. Yikes, man. Sorry I won't be joining you at the Northern Air Temple. Afraid I have other plans. That's the crazy thing about airbenders. They're just masterful at evading. And if they are assertive enough, they're good at attacking as well. I brought someone who wants to talk to you. You want to talk? Then talk. Why are you mad at her? I'm sorry. I was so excited to get to know you. I guess I was kind of sad that you didn't want to get to know me. Aww. Yeah, exactly. Believe me, I know my family can be a little crazy, but I would love it so much if you would be a part of it. Get out. Did I say something wrong? Get out! Yikes, man. What's your problem? I thought it would help you snap out of whatever funk you're in. Why don't you focus on fixing the world and stop trying to fix my family? You're never gonna change. You're mm. always gonna be a bitter, lonely woman. I mean, that might be the wake up call she needs. Who hurt her, man? Was it her mum? Like, that's trauma, man. To, to behave like that to anyone who's trying to actually love you is to just treat them like absolute dog poo. Like, my goodness. I need to know. I need to know what happened to her to make her like this. Because it's... Ugh, you don't just do that because you're a mean person. It's like, I don't even know what happened to her, but I already feel sorry for her. <laughs> just because I, I feel like you can, without even knowing about her past, you can already just see the, the amount of pain that's backing up how rude she is. So you, you feel sorry for her in that sense. And yeah, just watching a master, uh, I mean, I know he's not really a master airbender, but he's known so much about airbending culture, right? And he's already sort of, I feel like people, people in the comments mentioned the fact that he sort of trained like an airbender, but he just couldn't bend air, if that makes sense, or something like that. Uh, so I imagine that in a way he's already kind of a master at airbending just because of the way he fights But yeah, I think if you had a master of each element uh, it, It's obviously hard to tell who would beat who right? It's kind of like a game of scissors paper rock It's like sometimes a master at one element might easily beat the master of another element But then that person will beat another person right like maybe I don't know, maybe a firebender master would beat someone who's like an earthbender master, but then an earthbender master might beat, uh, let's say hypothetically, an airbender, right? So, I don't know, it, it's interesting to see masters fight each other like this, but I just get the impression that an airbender who is a master, because their entire style is evasive, I feel like I feel like you just have a bit of a one-up on everybody else at just never losing. You might not, necessar not necessarily win every battle, but you'll never lose, which is just such a hack, man. You can just leave whenever you want. <laughs> and even just seeing the way uh, he was attacked there with by a waterbender, he could just easily move to the side so swiftly. And you can do that with every other element. So, mm, 
All right, on to episode six. All right, chapter six, old wounds. That sounds good. That sounds like we're gonna unpack some things, particularly with Lin. Hey, has anyone seen Chief Beifong? She had no right to yell at Opal last night. Mm-hmm. All set for your power disc game today, guys. All set to kick Wei's butt. <laughs> what a power disc you're- I don't think I'd be much competition since I can't metal bend. Lin never offered to train you? I'm sure Lin would be a horrible teacher. Uh, As the avatar, you should have master- I'd be happy to show you the basics. You should try it too. I'm more of an earth guy. Let me know if you change your mind. Come on, man. Oh, the magnets, right? Is that, uh, what's his name? Whoa. Julie, mark it down. <laughs> Julie. Over breakfast, really? Julie cleans up this mess. Good on you, Julie. You're an absolute trooper. I'm sure her salary is really good. How many push-ups did you do last night? Because I did like 50. What do you two think you're doing? <laughs> Get back to work. Oh. Whoa. Is ever you need to relax. I'm fine. It doesn't take a truth seer to know that you are under stress. Mm -hmm. If you don't, there will be severe consequences to your health and your job. I know a great acupuncturist in town who will be able to help you. <laughs> yeah, you got to speak into her uh, her passion, right? Just be like, you won't be able to do your job effectively like you if you're like this. Cops are swarming the city looking for us. You still want to try to take out the president? He'll have to wait. We leave today. Oh boy. Yeah, I wonder how Republic City's doing. There's our ticket out of here. I would love this, by the way, being in a city that has like vines and trees growing through everything. Hey. There's no money. We don't want money. Oh, of course, acupuncture we can just metal bend the needles. There's nothing to be scared about. I'm not afraid of needles. Please, close. <laughs> Oof. This process will correct the imbalance. I can't feel a thing. That's unusual. Your chi must be powerfully blocked. Right. We're going to it's like she's cut herself off to Acupuncture. feeling. These memories can sometimes be difficult to process. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Buried memories. Yep. <laughs> Sue, what are you doing home? Wow, you almost look like a real cop. You're supposed to be in school. Are you going to tell mom? What are you doing hanging out with these losers? Whoa. They're my Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Sue, stop. Get your hands off of me! You're ruining your life! At least I have a life! <laughs> Typical teenager. Meteorites are perfect for beginning metal benders. Have a unique property, making them easier to bend. Oh. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah, how does how does it work on a psychological point of view, right? Bolin? Is that you? He wants to do it. No! What are you doing? Come on, man. I was just looking for Pavu. He's on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, look, there you are. Give Come on, bro. A give it a crack. Want to give it a shot? Nah, it's okay. One earthbender in a hundred can metal bend. The only thing limiting you is your attitude. <laughs> Try to focus on the fine pieces of earth within yeah, the metal. Yeah, because it's just earth. It's just really fine, isn't it? A metal bend. There you go. Wow. Guess you're that one in a hundred. I mean, she also happens to be the avatar. I feel like there's just advantages there in general. Calling all units. Suspect vehicle headed south on Howe Boulevard. Unit three responding. Oh boy. Why is this a repressed memory? Don't kill anybody. Wait, leaving in the middle of a session could make you sick. <laughs> I'm done here. They're in his head. Are you going to stay in your room feeling sorry for yourself all day? You owe Opal an apology for the way you treated her last night. I'm fine. Hey, I didn't realize just how much trauma was uh, behind this. Come with me. Let's go finish the session. Just relax and breathe. So you're robbing stores with the Terra Triad now? I owed my friends a favor. It's not a big deal. Mm. Don't even think about taking one more step. Fight. <laughs> Damn. Got an assassin here. Oh. She gave her that scar. I thought that was going to be in some sort of like epic battle or something, but that's like personal. Got a delivery to make in Baoyu. Should be back later today. 
Oh, gee. No pressure. Yeah. One more pickup, then I'm clocking out. I thought you said you had a delivery. Did I? You step out of the vehicle and open the back of the truck. How are they going to do this? <laughs> hey, get back here. Yeah, I guess he's only caring about his safety, right? Yeah, just run. Let's get out here. Yeah, it's a good thing he wasn't the one who opened it then. Yeah. Wait. I love that she's the one driving the, the person who's armless. That's great. I want him to metal bend, but. Hey, Valen. <gasps> Opal. Really know how to sneak up on someone. You're acting weird again. I'm just, I'm just frustrated. I've been trying to metal bend and I can't figure it out. I've been wanting to metal bend ever since I heard about Toph. Just go train with her. Stop being so scared. You want to go to the Northern Air Temple to train with Tenzin. I don't want to leave my family and disappoint my mom. Look at us talking <laughs> about our feelings. It's nice. Oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> What were you thinking? You two have put me in an impossible position. You're mad Ugh. at me? Sue, you need to leave the city as soon as possible. Lynn, give me the arrest report. You can't cover this up. I'm the chief of police. I can't have a daughter in jail. Once mm. again, Sue, and there are no consequences. Mate, just fiery from the start. You're going to feel a bit fragile. Probably best if you take it easy for a little while. I need to do something I should have done a long time ago. Oh no. Okay, I hope this is a good thing. You're the first metal bending avatar. Uh, to be fair, that's because I only found out it was possible um, like 70 years ago. And I'd like to try to learn metal bending. Let's get started. Uh. Oh, you interrupted Bolin having his moment. It's time we talk. After 30 years, you're finally ready to talk. You could have taken responsibility for what you did. Mom didn't throw her career away. She retired the next year. You think she wanted to retire? Uh. Look, I had, Mom and I already talked about this years ago and worked things out. You would know that I'm a different person. There you go. I've, you think just because you live in a big fancy house that you're a different person? Whoa. I see right through you. Lynn. You know what, Lynn? You're the one who hasn't changed. You wonder Tenzin ended things with you years ago. Oh, dude. Okay, I guess this is how it's going to be. Nice. Should I stop them? Fighting is all part of the healing process. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yes, get rid of that artwork. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it looks kind of better now. Didn't take much, did it? Shivers, man. You got it out of your system? Not quite yet. Isn't she supposed to be like fragile at the moment? <laughs> yes, I was what waiting for her to jump two? in. Why would you want to hurt each other? <sighs> oh. This is what I'm saying. You shouldn't be fighting. You've been sleeping for 16 hours. Whoa. We just wanted to Ooh. <laughs> uh. Opal, don't go. Please, sit down. I want to talk to you. Okay. Fingers crossed. She's still herself. <laughs> I wanted to say I'm sorry about the other night. Your mother and I have a complicated relationship. Probably difficult for you to be here. You're a smart young woman. I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for you to train with the other airbenders. I don't want to upset my mom. All I wanted to do is please my mother. You need to make decisions based on what you want. And it's not like you're running away or being outcast like the other sister. You're doing just what you want to do. Mom, it's noble. Good on you, Lynn. I'm guessing you had something to do with her decision. I'm glad she was honest with me. Mom gave us too much freedom, but I feel like I've made the mistake of giving Opal too little. I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time when we were younger. Republic City is lucky to have you. Aww. I know, Mom. I'd love for you to be a part of my life again. There's plenty of space for you in the house. And I do need a co-director for my new dance performance. <laughs> not on your life. <laughs> How about for now? I just promise not to show up at your house and attack you again. <laughs> Small steps. Yay! This makes me happy. We should have grabbed one of those cops. Maybe they know something about where the Avatar is hiding. We'll find her. It's just a matter of time. Ooh. What do you got planned, She's mate? She's with the Metal Clan. <sighs> Damn, dude. See what I mean? 
Like, an airbender like that is just, it's just too much power. It's just too much power. That was a great episode. I, I, I loved all three of those. I loved all the family drama. I loved that Lynn kind of took center stage in the last couple episodes. This season, I just feel like is, it's really good. And as much as it somehow doesn't feel like there's a whole lot happening, I think for some reason, just the writing and the characters and that sort of thing, it just feels more full uh, and really well thought out. And I love what the characters are going through, their growth. And uh, yeah, I, I like that they're not afraid to take a main character who uh, people love, or I particularly love uh, Lynn's character, and actually be honest with it and be like, no, this character is very flawed and she was in the wrong. <laughs> like she was rude. She was terrible for being mean to Opal and for lashing out. And But it, it, but then they go through this whole character arc where she gets to kind of go into these repressed memories and figure out what it is that's going on and uh, apologize for her behavior. I, I love that. That's how you, that's how you take a character and make them more likable and um, understandable and to make people empathize with them more. I love how fleshed out she is now as a person. Uh, she's definitely one of my favorites now, for sure. Yeah, I love that. And it's it's cool to see uh, Cora meta, metal bend. I don't know why, like, I think it's a big deal and, and it's great. I think she's gonna be able to use it in really cool ways later on. But it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me. Like, as soon as metal bending became a thing from Toph, I, I wouldn't be surprised if every avatar from now on, as long as they know there's knowledge out there of metal bending, I think they'll be able to do it. Just the whole concept of being able to earth bend, but then being able to feel earth in the refined, in refined metal and just focusing on that. Uh, just the entire concept of that seems pretty understandable. Uh, it surprises me that there's kind of knowledge or whatever that most earthbenders aren't able to metal bend. It seems to me like one of those things, if you spent enough time with the right trainer, you would be able to figure it out as an earthbender. I'm liking that we're getting little snippets of the, uh, the A-team <laughs> trying to find Korra and take her out. I, I like that um, it's building a lot of suspense but not taking away from what's happening with Korra, trying to find airbenders. It, it, I think they're balancing it really well. I really enjoyed this week. I hope you guys did too. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Stay cozy.